Fed's chairman David Hoare has apologised after describing the Isle of Wight as an inbred ghetto in controversial comments made to the Times Educational Supplement. He said, it's a ghetto. There has been inbreeding. Seven state schools were all less than good. There is a massive crime, drug problems, huge unemployment. Well, to uh, repost that, we're joined via Skype by Jamie White from Isle of Wight Radio. Uh, I, I've got to ask you your initial reaction to quite extraordinary comments. Yeah, most definitely. Um, I mean, we obviously saw the story this morning um, and our first reaction in here in the office was, you know, one of shock really as well. Um, we went out and spoke to a few people in and around the town today and, you know, showing them the story, there, were, there was actual kind of gasps of shock um, people really couldn't believe what he was kind of saying or had alleged to say. Um, and, yeah, they were really taken aback. And it's, you know, the comments that he made kind of, you know, referring to it as, as a ghetto, uh, inbreeding British white poor were, you know, pretty strong. I mean, if we uh, refer back to remarks he's made since uh, that, those comments, he has apologised. This is what he says. I apologise for any upset or offence that I may have caused. My intention was to highlight how concerned I am about the unacceptably poor performance of schools on the Isle of Wight over many years. He may have a point there, perhaps. Um, I mean, the, you know, the education authority on the Isle of Wight will obviously have their kind of views on things. But, you know, I think to use those words, you know, in today's society really were, you know, quite unacceptable from, from what people have said anyway, said to us today. Um, you know, they were just really taken aback. You know, our education system, it may need improvement. The, the Isle of Wight council leader today, Jonathan Bacon, said himself that, you know, there is obviously areas that they're looking to improve. There's been huge changes in recent years. Um, but, you know, he himself said that, you know, he thinks the comments were pretty ridiculous. And, you know, to, to label this was a bit of a worry for the Isle of Wight that, you know, can the Isle of Wight be, you know, classed properly and, and looked at properly by Ofsted, even though Mr. Hall, well, Ofsted, apologies, uh, have kind of said that his comments were his personal views and, and not Ofsted's. Obviously, we've heard uh, his apology. I've read that out. I mean, would you like him to come in person to the Isle of Wight and, and apologise, or would you like to see him just resign? Uh, well, well, I mean, speaking to people today, you know, even people out on, on the streets said that, you know, has Mr Hoare ever been to the Isle of Wight? You know, he should come down, come and meet the local authority, come into the schools, come and meet people himself. As I say, that's, you know, that's their views. Um, the Isle of Wight Green Party's education spokesperson has certainly called for his resignation. Um, you know, I guess it's it's back to, to Offset and, and back to Mr Hall now to decide what stage they're going to take and what steps they're going to take next. But, you know, the comments were pretty damning. On our Facebook page, obviously, the Isle of Wight Radio Facebook page, the comments on there, people have kind of said, OK, well, he's apologised, but has he apologised because he feels he's been forced to apologise? Um, and kind of the inbreeding comments as well, which you know, were, were kind of quite shocking what, what people were saying. Um, you know, there's been no apology for, for that or the specifics that have been said in there. So, yeah, I think um, the, the kind of general consensus is that Mr Hall perhaps should take a visit, come down to the Isle of Wight and, uh, and see for himself, you know, the towns on the island. We'll see whether he takes out that invitation. Jamie White from Isle of Wight Radio, thank you very much indeed for joining us.